There's a lot of mess in this level. First, A goes, hits its stop sign, then there's a hydraulic phase, then A resumes at the same time C goes to its stop sign, then another hydraulic phase, then C resumes at the same time E goes to its stop sign, hydraulic phase, then E resumes at the same time G goes to its stop sign, hydraulic phase, and lastly G goes to its flag. Ah! And in total, I have 12 roads. So six per side. I gotta be able to twist this in all directions. There's a variable level of horsepower here. I think I'll do it like this. Dragging some of the central roads to, well, be central. That way I could hang it with steel. Screw it, with rope right now. I think I'm gonna have the center have a symmetry here. Just so the sides can have a similar symmetry. I was thinking I just hydraulic to flip both of the side roads. And I want to see it in action. First car makes up fine. Then we got a pivot. Ooh, okay, but a pivot's like way too much. Let's just remedy it with a shorter hydraulic. I'm also going to stabilize this with steel just so it doesn't go anywhere. Tweaked around the hydraulics. Got them to click, but this car loves destroying my bridge. Why? What is this car's deal? Why? Like, it's not even a fast car. It just, there we go. I don't think it broke anything this time. The only thing is it's a little expensive because I had to go with cables and steel. Yeah, my budget's 27 and a half thousand, which means I have 13.75 thousand per side. Okay, away with steel, hello with wood muscle. Maybe just not even wood muscle, just a super stable piece. I don't know if that's actually stable. It is stable, it moves a bit, but it doesn't break. And that's under 13.75 thousand. So you literally just take this and you copy it. I mean, that's what you want. Well, that's everything. Let's see if there's any weird errors. Ah! It gets a running start. Oh, it doesn't even click on the right side. Why the hell not? Oh, right, because it's a buckly boy. There we go. Oh, and no brakes on the right side. Maybe that's just what I need. Oh, coming back up there's a break in the support here right i do admit these buckley boys should be uh, identical but it is expensive and what i'll do then i'll do a wood rope that'll be cheap enough lock it in place the other one too okay got the right side to not break again and so far nothing's broken they both make it up the hills without any problems but i'm sure something's gonna break it all four of these cars are drastically different somehow. Oh no, it doesn't even click now. Well, at least the G-Wagon makes it. Why wouldn't you click? Out of curiosity, does it work if it's a wood muscle? Come on, asshole, don't tumble. Well, at least it didn't break the bridge, so I guess that's improvement. But it is a one hell of a joke. I tweaked it to get it back below budget. Does it work? <gasps> oh, okay, it actually makes a landing. But now, when they both swing down, what happens? It clicks. Does it make it up the hill without breaking? Oh, unbelievable, it does. All right, just a little bit of obnoxious tweaking. And that's half budget. Nearly top 100. This one starts with a lot of pieces in place. And I can only build in this tiny little area. So let me first see this hydraulic phase. The hydraulics come down, grab the roads, and bring them up to sea. Almost as a demonstration. Of course, that needs to get across. There are no roads, but there is a thing that must be brought up. So I've got to cover four meters of distance, and I can't actually build a hydraulic here. The 25,000 to build this up, this probably calls for a hydraulic muscle. I start with a diamond of hydraulics. Perfect. The outside ones all expand, the inside one contracts. That allows it to cover a lot more distance. And then I would do this on the other side just as well. Now it's a little over budget. Now hopefully my hydraulics just expand a bit too far. Thankfully they do, that's good. I think this means just taking it and slimming it down. Another thing I'm just gonna preemptively do, set up a wood support instead of the steel. And it still doesn't click, why don't you click? Uh, maybe the issue is that it shouldn't be grabbing onto these nodes, it should be grabbing onto the edge nodes. Okay, I've decided I have to reconstruct it. The diamond has to be higher. I don't necessarily want it that way, but it seems to be the only way it'll actually hold. 
This time though, I think I'm in need of a wooden toothpick. I'll just let it be expensive right now just to see if the idea has any merit. It needs to go a little further down. Oh, I actually grabbed one. Only one? There. I fixed it. To click? It does click. Does it click again? Oh, right. It uh brings it too high. I guess it would actually make sense for the starting point to actually be merged with the split joints. Yeah, it brings it up. Does it click? It does, and it should drive over. But then... <laughs> right, that's probably not ideal. Not at all. I think D just needs to be the same as B, where the split joints detach? Well, hold on, then. It might not lower, then. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not gonna lower at all. Well, what the fuck? So clearly I need to attach to a different part of the bottom bridge. They cut this out right here, and then just change the wooden supports. Okay, let's see if this works. It clicks, pulls it up, and it is a solid plank, so that's not a problem. You know, it doesn't click up there, but I think that might not matter. Oh, that matters. When it detaches, it falls a bit. All right, I don't know if this will help. I'm gonna just do ropes to the top points just to make them more static. Yeah, it didn't move this time. Oh, but it still doesn't click. Are you kidding me? Well, at least it doesn't break. Okay, at least it works. I just need to shave off $4,000, which will probably be done via hydraulic. So now I need to do this concept, but with way fewer hydraulics. Maybe it doesn't need to be a diamond. So let's just say I have a rope maybe positioned here, about four meters long. Four meters means I can take it and bring it down here. It's the same distance from the top to the bottom to the bottom to where it needs to connect. Yeah, I actually out of curiosity, if I hold it in place like this, does it fall and click? Okay, it does actually, I saw it click. Because I could let it fall, then I would just have to move this node up to where I guess the split joint started. So the best way to do it, I could set up a little tiny baby engine, just made out of steel for now. Now all I have to do is take this piece and move it here. That's a little bit easier because all I really need is this hydraulic. Oh, hypothetically, it could just work. What if I just copy paste this and just let it be like this? Maybe. All right, it holds much better. Does it click? It doesn't click. That could be bad. 53% stress. Does it hold? No, it doesn't. Tweak it up. I can afford it, but it's got to click if it's going to work. Well, no, it's right there. It's just choosing not to click. Okay, well, thankfully it worked <laughs> without a break, but that is an insult. Well, you know what? I'll take it. Half budget, assuming there's no weird break here. Yeah, that was super strange. But yeah, not at all surprised people got this for cheap. People, oh, people tweak the left side so everything runs through the bottom. Well, that's clever. No, I like that a lot. Yeah, why well, even go on the top, especially when it refuses to click? Uh, this is very hard for $20,000. I have 10 roads, which I imagine is the exact amount to get it this far. And I'm already 6,000 in. I don't know if I can do this for 20,000. Also, I have only one hydraulic, but that actually might make it easier. I think the idea is you take the split joints from far away. I think I'll just make a tiny truss here. And you just do a single central hydraulic. That way, you can rope over to the side bridges and just pull them in simultaneously. Will it work? Doubt it. I don't even know if it'll hold like this. Yeah, it barely does. It's probably gonna tear the bridge apart, most likely. Also, I think I have it backwards. I think it actually needs to expand. Um, but right from the get-go, I'm just gonna raise up this truss. Maybe not in the middle, but definitely on the sides. Well, this is just that half budget. I'll tell you, it holds the truck much better. But does it tear itself apart? It actually doesn't. Does it dodge the blimps? Ah, and by blimps, I mean just random vehicles. All right, so it needs to be stabilized. Oh, crud. Let me think about this, just minus the rope. All right, how much does this bridge have to rotate in order to actually dodge the helicopter? 56 degrees and it's clear. 
Now that's very far for everything, but I guess I just want to draw attention to some of the wood pieces. This node would have to travel from here to here, which is 3.05 meters. I wonder if I could actually make the attachment here to a steel piece, which would just have a different attachment to a hydraulic. Well, it doesn't reach, but I suppose I could make it shorter and attach it here. What does this look like? It breaks. How about a cable? It doesn't break, and it does actually dodge really well. Just barely, to be honest. And coming back down, it does click. So now, can I somehow sync that up with the other side? This one, uh, right side doesn't need to tilt up so high, though. We're looking at like 26 or 27 degrees, which is a meter and a half. That's nothing. I wonder if I could just cheat by not even doing a hydraulic on the right side. I could just do tiny little road gaps instead. Probably gonna need something stronger than wood for this. But on the other hand, maybe I don't. I'll just let it be expensive for now. Let's see, the idea at least has merit. That way I could just focus on the left side being good. And hopefully it comes back without any issue. Yeah, the symmetry's there. I could see myself shaving this. For starters, how important is this steel? Oh, okay, replacing the steel with the wood suddenly makes the right side get stuck. That's logic. I bet I could shave the most on the right side. Like, do I really need the truss to be this high? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if I could get under with this truss alone. Let's do it in baby steps, though. All right, baby step one. I bet it could shave a bit on the left side. Like, this truss could be moved in. Corners could be a bit more... Uh, well, I don't know. It might snap. It didn't, but it could have. Yeah, I'll take it. I didn't want to beat this level on its terms. Oh, and actually, some of the best bridges did really just neglect <laughs> doing it in the intended way. Not that much cheaper than mine, surprisingly. This might be the cheapest one that does it the right way. Oh, sick. All right, one goes under, one goes over. It doesn't actually look like it clicks at the end, but it must just barely. The elevated highway? I'm like, where's my money gone? Except uh, there's a foundation here. Why is that here? Oh, because it's my only static joint. Well, let me see what this looks like. I can do two roads to here, uh, but it's got to be three roads long if it's going to be straight up. It doesn't have to be straight up, though. I could just take the roads and move them to here. But I also could just lift it straight up. I'm just not sure which is easier right now. And then figure out how on earth it's going up. What's the distance I need to cover? Six meters. I could preemptively shorten the distance by doing a ramp. This thing actually has horsepower, so that's not the worst idea. If it's like this, then all of a sudden the distance I need to cover is only like three meters, three and a half. Let's just say I get the steel down here, double braced against the foundation. Right from the get-go, I guess it's under tension, so cable would work better. Now I have two reasonably static static joints, of which I may only need one, because it's starting to get expensive. I was thinking of doing some sort of scissor, scissor lift, lift with the hydraulics. Yeah, there it goes. It's uh, not tall enough, but it is interesting, for sure. I guess if I want, I could just lower these. And then the foundation doesn't actually need to be that high. Bigger scissors. This actually just might work. Damn near, actually. <laughs> I could lower the hydraulics further, bring the foundation more down. Tweaking the hydraulics a bit, I think I finally got it to go up. Uh, you know, it's a little bit very much way too expensive. But the top 15%, so I guess it is a hard level to budget. It's just the foundation and all the hydraulics just add up to so much cost. I've got to eliminate seven and a half thousand. I feel like the only way I'm going to get this half budget is if I just ditch not only all the hydraulics, but also the foundation. And then what I think I'll have to do is almost change to some sort of contracting hydraulic that's supported by the rock. Build it up. Probably not with steel. Probably should be with wood. I just want to get the concept down first. I mean, this steel support would continue all the way over here. And it is, well, compared to the foundation solution, cheap. Barely, actually. Barely cheap. But yeah, but it has like a trillion steel. Let's see. It gets pulled up. And then it, it drives around a lot. Because it's a wiggly boy. 
I guess then I would actually attach ropes to the side so it doesn't sway around too much. You know, I think I need to have it click somewhere. It should pull up and click. I don't know, on anything, really. Ah, yes, like that. It just breaks the bridge, but, you know, I mean, it does work. <laughs> there it goes. It's also more expensive. Such a violent little bastard. Maybe if I try stabilizing it a little, it'll click or swing less. Okay, I could maybe work with this. It has about a trillion steel, so let's try to eliminate those. First, I think the left side steel is the worst of the bunch. It's already really cheap, but it could have some stress. Oh, it actually just changed up the dynamics of the bridge. Little bit of tweaking. There we go. It clicks again at 28,000. Damn near cheap enough. I could probably make this into a rope and subsequently the top steel into wood. There we go. Might change the dynamics of the bridge again. No, it's got to click. Oh, and because I made a rope, oh, it just barely tears it down. You know what? I could go for one more steel here. If that's the piece that breaks, I can steal it up, get it for under half budget. And it tugs, it tugs, it tugs, and it doesn't fall down. I'll take it. Really weird bridge, but that's an elevator. I was hoping I wouldn't have to brace it on the side. Oh, well. 